going guys H Blizzard here and today I'm back with a new kind of series that I might be doing or I'll start doing which is story time with H Blizzard so today's story is going to be something that was back like three or four months ago I was at my friends Dominic's house and so let's get right into the story so first of all I, w I went to my friends Dominic's house cuz he didn't want to get bothered by all his friends by his brother's friends so I was there and Dominic's brother was also there and so everyone was over there it was me, Dominic, Dane, which is Dominic's brother, Marty and Nicholas. Now Nicholas and Marty were were Dane's friends. So I'm at Dane's house and or not Dane, Dominic's house and we're playing infected. And that time I was really obsessed with basketball. So I was playing basketball while they be playing infected. Dominic was the final survivor, and Dominic was hiding in his dad's car. On the other hand, I we thought it'd be kind of me and Dominic thought it'd be kind of cool if me and Dominic decided that I would not know where he was, and we see how long it would go. And so Nicholas, Marty, and Dane would come by every five, like five or two or five, three or five three or four minutes so they come over and they'd go hey do you have you seen Dominic I go nope so they passed by I tell him it's all clear he'd come out we play a little basketball he'd go back in this went on for about 20 minutes so we got bored of that and we we kind of laughed because they didn't even notice and we thought that was pretty funny so once we got that done we decided it'd be kind of cool to go in the forest so we decided to go in the forest we found some sticks. We decided it would be kind of cool if we had a stick war. But we didn't really find any real sticks, except for Marty. He found a like, little baby stick. But he threw his out, and then Dane got this like, major walking stick, and he split in half and gave some to Marty. And we had like giant branches, kind of like. It wasn't even like sticks, it was just branches. So we had branches, and I kind I didn't really have one, so I went in the forest to look for one, and I found this major stick. Like, it wasn't a stick; it was like a branch. It was like, if you're looking at a normal-sized room, like it would be as long as a normal-sized room. And if you want, if you put it up and down, like up and down looking, and you put like plant it in the ground, it would be like a, a normal little plant or tree, a smaller tree, but still. So, we got kind of bored after, like, trying to attack each other with sticks because it kind of hurt. And someone almost poked each other's eye out. I don't remember who. So, we got bored of that. So, we decided it'd be kind of cool if we designed the sticks into something cool. Now, my friend Dominic, he went in the forest again, and he found this stick that looked exactly like a boomerang. Like, same size, but it was a lot thicker, like... Maybe like five times thicker than the regular boomerang itself. Like if you're looking at a regular boomerang, it'd be a lot thicker. And Marty was getting kind of Marty was kind of annoying him, so Dominic got kind of mad, and he got kind of sick of it. So Dominic was like, "Okay, I'll hold it in for just a little longer, see how it goes." So Dominic's holding it in, and then Marty. Is, so we're playing again and infected and then Marty kind of like kind of gave away Dominic's spot and he got a little mad I guess and so Marty got Marty got on his bad side a lot a lot more but I don't remember what it was, all was and then Dominic got so sick because he kept carrying around that boomerang stick but Marty got so sick of it that or Dominic got so sick of it that whenever we were walking down the hill like he on the side of his house he has like a hill kind of and I guess that's what they used to go sledding on during the winter. But Dominic got so sick of it that he grabbed the stick, pointed at Marty, closed his eyes, and threw it. Now, I think he spanned too, so he didn't really know if he hit him or not. But he threw it, and it clonked Marty in the back of the head. Like, it direct hit him in the back of the head. And then we kind of freaked out because... Marty is like almost unconscious and we don't know what to do so we're kind of freaking out and then Marty is 
and then Marty is just sitting there unconscious. And we don't know what to do. So we kept trying to wake him up for a little bit, and that wasn't working. So we decided that we thought it would be kind of a good idea to get a adult out here. Well, then we are thinking how much of trouble we'd get into. So we didn't do that. So we did it. We tried to wake up Marty a few more times, at like five more times, and Marty eventually got up. He was he was kind of awake before, but he was really hurting. And so he gets up. First thing he does is he gets so mad that he goes and tries to beat the snot out of Dominic. He tries, and Dominic ends up holding him back. And we tried to hold him back too, but he was like just wanting to beat the snot out of him. And I mean, if I got hit in the back of the head, I'd probably be, want to beat the snot out of him too. But he didn't. And so Dominic held it back. And he said, while we were trying to wake him up, he said, You gotta admit, that was a pretty good bullseye. But um, boom. So that happened. And we're like, Shut up, Dominic. And we're trying to wake him up. And so later into the thing, we go back inside, we're cooled down, when he cooled down a little bit, we showed Dominic's mom, I think, and so Marty got patched up a little bit, because it was like really red there, I think it was bleeding too, it was like right on the right side of the back of your head, and so Marty got healed up pretty good, and so that was pretty much the end of the story, went to bed, woke up the next morning, and I got out, and so if you really enjoyed the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and if you didn't, then leave a thumbs down. And I really hope to see you guys in another video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, favorite, and stay frosty.